Okay, y'all, so we're gonna do a taste test here, and this one is chorizo sausage. So you saw the first part of this, which is us making it. Um, now we get to do the fun part, which is the taste test. We always do a taste test before we actually put it into the um, intestines, into the casings, because of the fact that otherwise, if you don't like the seasoning that you already put in there and it's not enough, you wanna solve it before you get it inside the casings. We've learned that by, by trial and error. So Nick, go for it. Tell me what you think. It's hot. Like temperature hot. Spice really isn't that bad. Mmm, it's good. Mm -hmm. I might need a little bit more though. Maybe. The very afterwards spice it comes comes with time. Very smoky. Mm-hmm. Mm mm-hmm. Smoky. Is it missing anything you think? Mmm. Tastes all right to me. Yeah. It's Tastes good. Yeah. So this one is supposed to be a chorizo, guys. Um, here, let me show you. There you go. See, this is the fun part. This is where you get to taste your efforts. Um, this is made out of uh, pork and rabbit. And these are rabbits that we grew here at our property. Um, you saw that we used birch wine from our property. Uh, we used garlic from our property. The only thing that we did not get off this property is the pork, which is a huge component of the pork sausage or the sausage, because if you do only rabbit sausage, we've done this before. It was a big, boop. <laughs> it was a big oops. It doesn't work. Um, rabbit is just too lean. So ultimately, we nowadays do a combination of pork and um, rabbit. It makes a very flavorful sausage. So bon you're right. Uh, very spice. The spice is at the end. Nick mm -hmm. was right. So mm -hmm. you think it I didn't need any no. more? Mm. Okay, yeah. we're good. Now we get to the next stage, guys. Come on, join us. Wow. <laughs> 
Okay, oh, so batch number two. This one is called a Toulouse sausage, and this one is a traditional sausage, usually made in cassoulet or used in cassoulets or otherwise grilling. It's not very like extravagant like the other one that we just made, which was a um, chorizo. chorizo sausage. Um, that one had tons of spice in it. It smelled very aromatic. This one, all it has is garlic, salt, pepper, nutmeg, and because of the fact I ran out of nut, like I couldn't find my nutmeg grinder, <laughs> And I couldn't find any other ground nutmeg. I had to use pumpkin plain spice. old pumpkin spice. That was all I had left. Um, so yeah, so it's gonna be a little different take on it. Um, but taste test time. This is the fun part. Go for it, guys. Go. Thank you first. Tastes like sausage. You don't know what to say. It's nothing special. Yeah, nothing special. Just sausage. I will say that the, I think the chorizo was a little bit more fun to make than this one. This one kind of seemed almost bland as I was mixing everything together. Tastes like sausage. Just like breakfast sausage. Yep, tastes like a breakfast sausage. It'll be really good in length though, I think. And the salt is just right. Mm -hmm. I was worried about the salt. Oh, good. I can definitely taste the um, black pepper in there. Mm -hmm. I can um, taste the nutmeg in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can't really taste the pumpkin spice. <laughs> it was just bare amount. I just was like sitting there going, okay, we got a lot more meat than we expected for this recipe. We were only going to go with like six pounds and we came up with 11. So we had to grind up a whole lot more um, things. And of course I cut tons more garlic because I love garlic. And guess what? The rabbit came from our property. The um, garlic came from our property. The only thing that didn't come from our property was a salt, nutmeg, and pork. And Pork casings, of course. Mm -hmm. So, pretty much the seasonings. So, hmm. That's good. That's good sausage. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's get to the next step. Actually, some parts of it taste a little salty, mm -hmm. which tells me I didn't completely mix it perfectly. Mm -hmm. So, but as you can tell in the video, oh, it's wine. really hard. Oh, yeah. And the wine. We used wine in it too. Um, as you can tell in the video, it's very hard mixing this meat together. Especially because the meat was very, very cold. Um, and so, we might need to mix it just a little bit more, just so it's fully incorporated. So, all right, let's get to it. Next, next part, which is the really fun part, that doing Tracy. the casings. We've had our casings actually sitting in water in, over to the side. I'm trying to care, lift this over so you can see it. We've had them sitting in water for just a little bit. We pre-order them ahead of time, usually about a year out. So that way we know we have them. And so we brought those out and we've been sitting them in water, ready, getting them ready to do this next part. Um, we like them in casings rather than sausage patties or whatever, even though we could make meatballs. Actually, we might make some pork meatballs. I don't know, we'll see. We have a little bit of pork left over. Um, actually, a lot of pork left over. So I might be making a meatloaf tonight. Maybe meatloaf, so I don't know, we'll see. All right, join us on the next step. Come on over. <laughs> 